Hi guys, uh, Cade Wilcox here, and I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, small businesses and small business leaders. I fundamentally believe um, that small business leaders and small businesses in general are, are really, really critical uh, to the good of society. And, and here's really what I mean by that. I think there, there are three things in my mind that have a huge impact on, on the world. Number one is healthy families. Number two is healthy local churches. Uh, happy to talk about those things in more detail with you if you feel like it. Uh, but the third thing in my mind is really healthy small businesses and the leaders that lead them. Um, they, 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 a lot of reasons they make so much impact on society and, and a lot of reasons why they're so important. But here are a couple of things that, that really come, come to my mind. First of all, they're the economic driver behind our entire economy. Most people think of really big companies like Google and Facebook and Walmart and Amazon as, as being the drivers behind the economy. And certainly those things are important and they're big and they, they, they play a role in, in, the, in the economy and in society in general. But really, the people creating the most jobs, the people creating the most economic impact are small and medium-sized business owners who start businesses and show up to their businesses every day and they provide goods and services and they hire great people. Um, they're the ones who are really making an impact on society. And so, um, you know, our efforts with creating this content, whether it be video, whether it be the new podcast, is all going to be geared towards uh, basically being an advocate for and uh, being an ally for small and medium sized business owners. Um, I own five or six businesses and I, I love starting new businesses and I love, I love leading them. But one thing I found over the last uh, nearly 10 years of doing this is that from time to time it's a, it's a really lonely and isolating experience. Um, not always. Uh, it, it, it's mainly rewarding. Most of the time it's exciting. Most of the time it's energizing. Most of the time, you know, things are, are really, uh, really fun. But there are times, there are seasons that, that I go through and, and I feel like you do too if you own a small business uh, that, that are just lonely. You know, you, you, you don't know who to talk to. You know, there are certain things that you go through or certain things that you experience and talking to your leadership team, you know, it's not the right context. It, it, it's not fair to them, you know, to share everything with them, so to speak. And so um, the kind of content we're going to create, it's, it's literally for you. And it's not going to be perfect. My experience is not your experience and your experience is not my experience. What I've learned through failure is different than what you've learned through failure. What's worked for me may not work for you. What works for you may not work for me. But what I love about content, what I love about small business, and what I love about learning is that even, even if the thing I'm listening to, even if the thing I'm watching, even if the thing I'm reading, even if the thing I'm, 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 I'm pursuing for learning and, 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 uh, and ideas isn't exactly something I could do or exactly something I could implement in my business, it always sparks idea. And so as, as, as uh, silly as this may sound, uh, I want to be I want to be a friend to you. I want to be your peer and I want to speak into your business uh, if you'll let me and if you'll allow me to. And then again, you know, it's not that everything I'm going to share is going to work for you, um, but it's going to create ideas for you. And hopefully uh, you'll find this uh, this content and this channel and this relationship that we're going to create an opportunity for, for you to learn and to grow. And very likely, I'll get to do the same as we develop a relationship together. Um, so small businesses really, really matter. Uh, but when they make the most impact is when they're healthy, when they have a really healthy culture, when they're really caring and loving and serving the whole person of their employees, when they have really healthy operations and are pr providing great experiences for their customers, when they have healthy finances, when they have really good, effective sales and marketing, like these are the things um, that every small business has to wrestle with and has to think through and has to be really good at. When they have a really good, effective vision and goals that are documented and tracked. And so I'm excited to, to share this journey with you and I'm excited to share what we've learned over the last uh, nearly 10 years, uh, six businesses in, um, hiring a lot of people, making a lot of failures, having a little bit of success. Um, I'm excited to share this with you. Small businesses matter and the leaders that lead them uh, are, are really critical to the success of the company and to the overall health of society in general. So thanks for coming along and uh, excited to go on this journey with you.